I am back. That took like a good day. Woo! Let's go kill this dude. I remember what we were doing. And he's still making that weird noise. LAPD, drop the gun now! Give me town. Straight up savage. I know how to do this. I'll be back. When you hear that door screech, that means AG again is coming back. Let's go check out this mother effort, huh? Is a bar really a sniper though? That thing is getting really annoying. Oh, it's gone now. Phone number and restaurant table. That is good to know. We got over here. Oh, there we go again. Right, you probably got nothing on your hands. Let's go see that bar. It's one of the BARs. I mean, I would guess, you know. Why else would he have a bar? Why else would he have a bar? I know that guy. Felix Alvaro. He's one of the guys from the ship. His name was on the manifest. Looks like McGoldrick wasn't the only one to get a message. Hey, Alvaro. Hey, Lieutenant. He's just a plain detective now, Chico. Who's the jughead? It's my partner, Roy Earl. We just want to find out what happened. What happened is that someone took a shot at my bus. And the cops turned up and start treating me like I'm some sort of pachuco punk. My people have been in California for over 300 years. Very fucking admirable, Felix. <laughs> oh, that was, that was more funnier than it should be. Anyway, informed of Cool Ridge Heist? I mean, I'm, you should be informed. You hear anything about the big heist on the Cool Ridge? Yeah, I heard about it. So what happened? Not much. Uh, cops came and interviewed me and all the other guys on the ship. Bruh. It's obvious that they're trying to kill everybody that's on the ship that has connections to it. Why are you lying? Wow, can't hear anything. I was down club this morning, waiting for the medical examiner to scrape Eddie McGoldrick's brains off the bar. You want to tell me anything about that? I heard that Eddie came into some money. Too bad he didn't keep a low profile. It was a tough break to get through Okinawa and then have to buy it back home. It is a tough break, my friend. Motive for shooting. Who's shooting at you, Felix? How the fuck do I know? All right. That's a lie. The dead guy on the roof works for Mickey Cohen. Why would Cohen want you dead? Man, I don't know anything about Mickey Cohen or, or any of those gangsters. I mean, you know they're gangsters, so. It's probably Sniper's pocketbook. Oh, there you go. Your name was in the Sniper's notebook. Level with me, Felix. Cohen thinks because we were on the boat, we have the morphine. Courtney's meeting those guys to sort it out. Courtney Sheldon? Yeah. You remember Sheldon, don't you, Cole? We'll be in touch, Felix. You heard that Jack is in L.A.? I saw his name on the manifest. He's been here a couple of months. I'm sure glad to see you got over your wound, Lieutenant. I mean, detective. Yeah, I'm sure he will. Pretty cool customer. He's been under fire before. You buying a story? Not for a minute. Let's go. I knew I got to talk to someone since Jack's here, huh? My best friend. Phelps badge 1247. How could I help 
Detective. I need an address on a jack. Oh my. Kelso. Just a second. Jack Kelso, apartment four, 1408 North El Centro Avenue, Hollywood. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's go back to my amazing red car. It's not even mine. It's the Roy's over here, but he lets me drive it, so it's mine. Let's go to Kelso apartment. Let's go to my best friend. My best. Jack was a company sergeant. He would never get involved in something like this. No. We brace him and drag him downtown. Won't work. He's a tough customer. It's a toughie. Only if you knew, Phelps, he did get involved. But it's not because of your reasoning. Get out of my way! Are they running away from me? What did I do? I did nothing wrong. Wow, it looked like the building was moving to me. Hello, Jack. This is Detective Roy Earl. Hello, Cole. We would like a word. Would you like to come inside? Actually, we'd prefer if you'd come downtown with us. Do you mind? Do I have any choice? No. You don't. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? It would be better for all of us if we discussed it at the station. Bad move, Cole. How have you been, Jack? Cut the crap. You pick me up in front of my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small talk? Fuck you. Oh, where's the cutscene for that one? It's not even a cutscene. Where's the subtitles, huh? Army surplus morphine. Where'd you get it, my friend? Do you know that there's a gang war going on in LA trying to recover that stolen morphine? That has nothing to do with me. I doubt it. You know, all the trouble happened because of you. It all comes back around. I'm sure it would be gripping to hear more of your life story, boys, but the truth is, I don't give a fuck. You were on the boat, Kelso. What happened? Do you really think a bunch of Marines could muscle in on the dope rackets in this town? Between the vice squad and the mob, I hear it's pretty sewn up. You'd better watch your mouth. Dude, if you're 34, does that make code 34? I think that's how it works. Anyway, ex-Marine. You know about him? My best friend, before you. Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. How you not know that? I mean, I don't know, sometimes I don't know. And you didn't know that some mobsters blew his brains out last night? No, I didn't. <sighs> now you know, my friend, now you know. Arms stolen from Cole Ridge. You know, the bars, could be the bars that be dropping the bars. You heard that a crate of BARs went missing? No, I didn't. They're not called BARs, they're called bars, Phelps. They be dropping bars. They be dropping those bars. Hot bars. I don't even know, I was trying to make something stupid. I saw Felix Alvaro today. Good. How was he? A little pale. One of Mickey Cohen's goons had emptied about 60 BAR rounds into the bus he was driving. A public bus in the middle of Hollywood. Are you going to tell me what's going on? Or do more innocent people have to die? Yeah, and what's in it for you, Cole? Newspapers? More glory? Another promotion? Another medal at the expense of men who fought for their country? Count me out. Wow, what the? What did he hate Phelps so much? Anyway. SS Cool Ridge Robbery. What do you know about the Army surplus robbery from the Cool Ridge, Jack? What I know is that on three separate occasions, you would have been dead if it weren't for me. I don't know anything about the robbery. Um, why are you bringing up the past, boy? The past is so the past. 
If you wanted me dead, you should have killed me right there then. Just saying. People are dying because morphine intended to help servicemen is being used on the street. Now we have guys from our old unit being killed by mobsters. We can put two and two together, Jack. Gratitude isn't a concept that has much effect on you, is it, Cole? Answer the question, Jack. Let's get this over with. I was interviewed when the robbery took place. I don't have anything further to add. Jack, I just want information. Bullshit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? You call yourself a Marine? Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit heel? Look at this chump with this $200 suit and $2,000 car. The tough guy act is really impressive. I like you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm going to be working on it and keeping an eye on you. You can go now. Good evening. Robert Steiner, 6780 West Sunset Boulevard. The victim is a Chris Majewski. Another name from the manifest? Another name. How many more friends of yours are going to get plugged today? Wow, I I moved the turn, it wasn't turning at all. It just looked like I was going straight. Talk about tension. That was like being trapped in an elevator with a married couple who can't decide whether they love each other or hate each other. You go back a long way. You went too easy on him. Next time, you leave it to me. I know how to handle that smug son of a bitch. You don't. Jack will never give up his own men. I would. Oh, I'm just kidding. Gotta give me enough money, though. Yeah, look at this. You see all these little drifts I'm doing? These people ain't ready. Yes. That little amazing drift. This is how you play Midnight Club over here. This is Midnight Club LA North style. Where there's a bunch of shootings and messed up cars that they give us. Just walked up and shot the man. Two of them officers. Yeah, I'm sure we can they see them. That way. Go on, get after them. Oh, shoot his tire. I can't hit a target that isn't there. Fellas. What are you talking about? They're really right in front of us. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. Whatever. As long as I get that five star, it don't matter how I get it. It's right there. Shoot his tire. Stop shooting, Dwight. That was a messed up shot. Getting close and steer him off the tar. Let's see how fast he runs on bare rims. Wow. If I can just hurry up, this would be an important thing for me. Wow, this car, like, wait for us. It waited for us. <laughs> he got off the car. This dude's just hitting everybody. Why we can't? Even... I'll be back again. It's like a crazy day today. When that door creaks, I am ready to go. I can't take the shot from here. I can't take oh my the God, shot from here, Cole. Oh, thank you. Dude, get out of my way. Go get shot. Yeah. It's a warning shot. Find some cover. Boom, right in the heart. I aimed it. Just waiting, just waiting for that moment. Mm. 
Oh, there's a little newspaper thing. An LAPD file? We have a traitor in our midst. All of the names on the list have a hit team assigned to them. Damn. Some crazy stuff over here. Cohen is meeting with Sheldon tonight. Some crazy stuff. We need to get to those guys fast, otherwise there'll be no case. Thank you. There's a newspaper. Let's get that newspaper. LAPD vice scandal could go all the way up to the top. We have to look at damage limitation. We can't allow that strumpet Brenda Allen to bring down the whole administration. We've got to put a lid on the press. Can someone talk to Harry over at the time? It's too late. The Times would look ridiculous if we dropped the story now. Who is this Stoker? Stoker's a lily white. Nothing that will fix this in the short term. My law and order credentials are disappearing as we speak. Can we get Brenda to leave town? Yes, we can, but she won't go quietly. Brenda has extensive records. Can she at least lay low? That's already been taken care of. Mayor? District Attorney? Who is this guy? And what does he want, Horrell? The name's Roy Earl, Detective, Administrative Vice. Aren't you one of the clowns that got us into this mess? Oh, I think that the orders regarding Brenda come down, not up, Mayor. I have a human interest story. It involves a certain LAPD cop, a hero from the war, who has let his beautiful wife and kids down, who has betrayed America for a German junkie whore, who has abandoned his pledge to the LAPD and his commitment to the public we all serve. It'd be all over the papers by tomorrow, and you would be off the hook. So what do you want in return, Roy? Fingering a fellow officer. Wow, what a snitch. Snitched on me. Oh, I just went right through him. Alright, let's go. I feel like I'm missing something. No, I'm not. I'm not missing anything. Let's go. I am not missing anything. Let's go to the post office. They're taking out all the guys from the ship. Why? How does that get them the dope? They obviously don't know who has the morphine, and they're waiting for someone to crack. Obviously, Jack has it. I mean, these people are like Marines, you know? Like, so wouldn't they be like been through worse? I mean, obviously, dying to them or getting shot at is nothing new. But I, I don't know. I, mean, I would think like. Them. 